Hopefully you can hear me all right. I know I'm a quiet fella. This one is Ship in Distress. Uh, also by Ewan McCall. There were covers done by other singers. I don't really know where it originates from. But I believe this is the version by Ewan McCall. Or by Peter Bellamy, I believe it was. Might have done this as well. Yeah. Ship in Distress. Um, the story behind it's sad. I, it is a true story. It's of a schooner. I don't remember which schooner. It was late 1700s. Um, it, something broke on it. It stuck at sea for, I believe, a couple months longer than it was supposed to. They are resorted to the last resort, which if you're a seaman, sailor, whatever you know of as cannibalism. Um, these men on this schooner were forced to cannibalism the day before they were rescued. And this is an account, now I don't know if this was sung by the, you know, an actual crewman or this is written after the story. I'm assuming this was written after the story came out in the news. Um, but it's about the man who was going to be killed next so they could subsist off his corpse. Uh, it's a demoralizing song, honestly, but I, I believe these stories should be told even if it is not exactly that same story itself. Um, another good one, if you like this, and you look this one up, um, The Silver Ships of Andalar. It's a really good one. It's pretty long. Uh, it's a lot longer than this, but yeah. Anyway, this is Ship in Distress by Ewan McCall. This is my, for, well, my uh, cover of it, I guess you could call it. <clears throat> You see men bold who plow the ocean, see dangerous lands men never know. It's not for rum or of promotion, no tongue can tell. What they undergo In the blusterous wind In those grand dark waters Our ship went drifting out on the sea Her headgear gone And her rudder broken which brought us to extremity for fourteen days hot sore and hungry but why yield water and bitter skies poor fellows they stood in a totter a cast in lots as to it should die. The lot it fell on Robert Jackson, whose family was so very great. I'm free to die, but all my shipmates. Let me keep lookout till the break of day. A full-dressed ship, like the sun that glittereth, came bearing down to merrily. As soon as this glad news was shouted, it banished all our care and greed. The ship brought to no longer drifting. Saint Vince, Saint Vince, we were out of the gale. You see, men all who hear my story. May you never suffer the 